Hi everyone, it's Vicky here with my monthly event featuring the Simon Says Stamp card kit. For a chance to win the June card kit by Simon Says Stamp, make sure to visit my blog and enter your details. So let's first take a look at what's inside the June card kit by Simon Says Stamp. This month the color combination is bright and happy. And um, first of all, you get two uh, little pens. They are fine tip pens. One is a gel pen and the other is a glitter pen. You will see that later in the video, I didn't end up using them. I totally forgot about them. Now, you also get a die that says Dream. You also get two colorable card fronts. Epoxy stickers in bright colors. A clear stamp set with flowers, leaves and uh, a sentiment. And also you get your 6x6 six six papers, these are uh, by Bobani, in bright and uh, cheerful colors. And also you get uh, your cardstock, there are 5 different colors, which I always cut out in half and create my card bases. So I have all my card bases here, all the 10 of them, and now let's go ahead and decorate them. So I am going to start with the obvious and use this colorable card front. But instead of just coloring, I decided to take it a step further, so I am going to cut out the border along this wonky edge, so I get a, a more interesting uh, look for my card front. And also I'm going to uh, turn it into a shaker card, so I'm going to cut out the inside of the sun. To color my card, I went with my Prismacolor pencils, as you can see here, just because they are super quick. And I had to color a lot of uh, things. When I do my uh, one uh, kit, 10 cards, I try to go with uh, simple cards, but sometimes I make things more complicated than they are. Now, anyway, uh, this uh, paper is not a watercolor paper, which means that you can use your uh, alcohol markers. And uh, what's great about it is that it doesn't pleat on the back. So I have my uh, piece ready to go, I am going to add some tape adhesive at the back and stick just a piece of uh, acetate and this is just a scrap from a packaging. And I am going to add some foam tape and put inside my sequence. Now I believe these uh, yellow ones came from a kit uh, a while back, I can't remember which one it was, but I'm sure, I'm pretty sure it was in one of the Simon Says Stamp uh, previous kits. I'm going to peel off the foam tip and I'm using one of uh, the yellow cards. So this is a top folding card and it's a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. To finish it off, I just had to add some clear Wink of Stella glitter pen on the hearts and a little bit on uh, the rays of the sun. For this card, I used the second colorable card front, but this time I'm going to trim the edges just a little bit, I'm not trimming any of the designs, just to make it slightly smaller, so when you put it on top of a standard card, you can see a border all around. I'm going to show you what I mean. So now I'm going to color it with Copics, and I really love this paper, since it doesn't bleed at the back. I'm not going to to bore you to death, uh, showing you how I colored the whole thing. But uh, when I finished, just because I wanted to take this a step further, I decided to use my craft knife and cut out the word B. So I am going to make uh, holes inside. It's not that difficult because I'm just following the black lines there. And by all means, this is not perfect, but if you use a black marker, it's going to look as if I have cut out everything perfectly. So I am going to stick that with uh, foam squares at the back on top of my black uh, card base. And uh, I am making sure that I add tons of uh, glitter with my Wink of Stella glitter pen just behind the word B. So in real life, although it doesn't uh, show on camera, it a lot of uh, shine is coming through that black cardstock at the back. Now I am going to stick with foam squares again, the inside uh, pieces. And when I am working with colorable card fronts, I tend to uh, try and think what more can I do than just coloring. I don't know why, I just want uh, always my card to be a step further. So now to finish it off, I am going to add uh, some Wink of Stella glitter pen on the uh, word happy. 
and then I am going to cover it up with uh, glossy accents. And that is going to finish my card. I am trying to catch the light here so you can see how shiny this card is. Just adorable. So now let's move on to the next card. I have picked the 6x6 pattern paper with the sun and I think that there are some pattern papers that they are so striking that you don't really need to do a lot on uh, for your card fronts. So I am going to cut it out and I am making sure that I keep the sun centered. So I am uh, slowly cutting on one side and then on the next side and uh, the idea here is to make uh, this a panel that is slightly smaller than a standard card. So again I have a frame all around. Now, as you can see here, and since I want to have even the simplest of my cards uh, with something interesting, I am using my scissors and I go along the lines of the rays. Having all the rays separated from each other is going to help me create a dimensional look on my finished card. So as you can see, I have cut out all uh, the rays and I am adding some tape adhesive at uh, the sun. And I'm going to pop up all the yellow rays by using my uh, foam squares. So I am going to stick down the white uh, thin strips that separate the rays. And I am using my uh, glue pen for that. And this is uh, really handy. I got that from uh, the previous uh, Simon Says Stamp Card Kit and I keep using it again and again. So I'm going to push those uh, uh, thin strips down. And now I can use my foam squares at the back of each ray for a dimensional effect. As you can see I am adding a foam or a couple of foam squares only at the edges of each ray. So at the center of uh, the sun, everything is uh, nice and flat, but at the edges, everything is raised. I hope you can see the dimension here. So although this is a very simple card, at the same time it has uh, something interesting on it. For my sentiment, I'm going to use the die that was included in the kit that says Dream, which I am going to cut out from black cardstock, just uh, so it contrasts with the sun. And since I didn't want that award to be flat on uh, the card, I decided to add some uh, foam tape at the back. Actually, I'm using fan foam. And I'm going to stick the black cardstock on top of the fan foam. So I'm using some sticky tape there. And that white piece is fan foam. And before I run it through my die cutting machine, I am going to add one more uh, double sided tape on top of that fan foam. So when I cut everything out, I can peel off the backing and I have a sticker. I'm going to run it through my Sizzix machine a couple of times just to make sure because I need to cut out all the way through the fan foam. I'm going to peel off the word and stick it on my card front. And of course you can get uh, crazy with your clear Wing of Stella glitter pen at this stage and uh, make your card super shiny. For this card I'm going to use this beautiful uh, pattern paper with uh, the rainbow colors and I'm going to cut out a panel. I'm using the largest from the stitched uh, rectangle dies. I am also going to use a word that says hello, this is a big die, but uh, for the same design you can use any big die that you have. It can be a heart, it can be a balloon, whatever uh, die you have. So I am going to cut out the same rectangle out of white cardstock. And this is uh, just some uh, scrap uh, cardstock that I have. I like to use everything on my table. So you see that I have some uh, stamped images at the back. And I am going to cut out the word hello out of that uh, white cardstock. So when you put it on top, you get that uh, beautiful rainbow effect for the back. Now just because I want to reveal the red a little bit more, I decided to add a few hearts up there at the top. So I'm going to decide where all the hearts are going to go and then cut them out with my Zizix machine. 
So now through the hearts you can see the red as well as a little bit of the purple on the other side. Now you can keep uh, your card as it is or you can add the inside pieces. I believe that uh, both ways it looks beautiful. I decided to go ahead and stick them down so I am adding tape adhesive and sticking that white panel directly on top of my uh, pattern paper. And a great way to put all the little pieces back in place is to use the main uh, uh, die cut as a template. So I'm going to stick down all the small pieces and then I'm going to peel off the hello world. As always you can find the full list of all the supplies that I'm using today just below the video in the description area as well as on my blog. I got a little bit of adhesive on my white cardstock but that's not a big deal. I can always uh, erase it with my, my adhesive eraser. So everything is nice now. I'm going to stick that directly on top of uh, my blue card. So I'm using my tape runner there and my card is ready. So let's move on to the next card. I'm going to use the rainbow pattern paper leftover that I have from the previous card as well as this uh, black and white pattern paper and uh, I chosen this combination just because all those rainbow colors look so striking when you put them on top of that uh, pattern paper. So uh, this is going to be a very simple card. I have chosen a sentiment that is uh, that fits inside that panel. It can be anything you have. I went with hello what's up and that's from a stamp set that is uh, very old, from an exclusive stamp set by Simon's Stamp. I have uh, stamped it with Versa marking and to white emboss it. I'm going to heat set it with my heat gun. For this card I'm going to use the black cardstock, the card base that I have created. And uh, I get uh, some questions about what do I do on the, on the inside of my black cards. I either write inside my message with a white gel pen or I stick inside a white panel. So I can write with any marker. I'm going to stick that uh, on top of my card and I'm going to trim the excess with my scissors. And although this is a very simple card, it's a great way to use up all those uh, strips of paper that you have left over from previous cards and make the most out of your card kit. And let's move on to the sixth card. For this card I have used my die that cuts out a tag and I am going to stamp the main sentiment from the stamp set that was included in the kit. I'm using VersaFine black ink and I'm going to stamp a uh, centered at my tag. From the paper pad I looked for a pattern paper that uh, helps this tag pop even more. So I went with this yellow pattern paper and uh, I have cut it out to size. I'm also using my crop dial to set an eyelet at the top of my tag. And since the sentiment says look for the miracles, I had this idea to color in some of the arrows in the background. So I am going to use my white gel pen and color in some of them as if they are point pointing to the miracles out there. And of course you don't have to color all the arrows that are uh, doodled there, just a few of them to make a statement. I am going to use foam squares at the back of the tag to stick it on top of my card base and I am also going to cut a piece of thread and tie it at the top of my tag. Just because the top of my tag looked too plain to me, I decided to cut out an arrow from the leftover of uh, the pattern paper and I am going to stick it on top of the tag pointing to the sentiment. So this is going to bind somehow the tag with the background. I'm going to use some uh, glue at the back and stick it there. Now you can call this uh, card done, but this is where I got this uh, idea to use tiny little eyes, googly eyes, and stick them inside the O's of the word look. So first I'm going to use some tape adhesive at the back of uh, the whole thing. So I'm using my ATG gun there. I'm going to stick this panel directly on uh, the white card uh, base. And then I'm going to look for the tiniest eyes that I have and use some uh, 
mat medium to stick them inside that uh, those little o's now i somehow lost the footage here because i was playing with my cat but anyway you get the idea you will see photos of um, this card at the end of uh, the video he is trying to get the lollipop that's always inside the Simon Says Stamp card kit. For this card I am going to pick up a colorful uh, pattern paper that matches my blue card base. So I decided to go with this one. I am going to cut it down to size by using my stitched rectangle die. I am using my tape adhesive at the back and I'm going to stick it directly on my card base. Now this is going to be a super simple card just because this background is full of uh, elements so I don't feel that I really need to add anything. I'm going to use a sentiment on uh, black cardstock and I'm going to white emboss it and uh, by using black for the sentiment this is going to make sure that it's going to stand out from the background that is so busy. The sentiment says you're pretty fantastic and this comes from an old Simon Says Stamp uh, exclusive stamp set but you can use pretty much anything you like. I'm using my scissors and I am going to create a fish tail on one side of my sentiment and then I am going to use some foam squares at the back and stick the label down. And since the kit comes with a set of enamel dots, I am going to add some of them at the center of those flowers. So I am going to use blue for the blue flowers, yellow for the yellow flowers and so on. And if you want you can always use glossy accents or clear Wink of Stella glitter pen. For this card I am using a piece of watercolor paper and I am going to stamp some of uh, the images from the stamp set. So I am going with the leaves, I am also going to stamp three of the flowers and I am using black VersaFine ink. To color all my images I am going to use my Tombow markers and I am going to choose colors that match the colors that are at the background. The background is just a pattern paper from the 6x6 uh, pattern papers that were included in the kit. So you can see that I am testing out my markers and trying to decide which colors I am going to use for the flowers. I am going to color in the flowers, do some uh, basic shading with my markers and then um, go ahead and use my scissors to cut them out. Notice that as I am cutting them out I am making my life easier and I am leaving a border, a white border, all around the images. Which makes cutting uh, even easier, especially when you have to cut out all those leaf branches. Now that I have my images all cut out I am going to add some foam tape at the back, decide on the composition and once I am happy with uh, where everything is going to go I am going to commit and stick them down. For the sentiment I'm going again to use the die cut, so I have cut out the word dream and before I have uh, die cut it I have used that sticky tape at the back, so all I have to do now is to peel it off and uh, my word already has uh, adhesive at the back. I'm going to stick it directly under the flowers and then the whole panel is going to go on top of uh, my yellow card base. So I'm using my tape runner at the back. And you can see that uh, the center of the flowers matches perfectly the border on the card. For the center of the flowers I'm also going to use some of the yellow enamel dots. And my card is finished. For my ninth card I'm going to use this beautiful pattern paper and I really like it because it reminds me of a mixed media background. I am going to cut it down to size and this is a four and a quarter by five and a half so it's a standard card size. And at the center of uh, this background I am going to stamp the sentiment from the set. I am going to white emboss it so I am stamping with Versamark ink. Applied my white embossing powder and heat set it. And I'm also uh, going to match this pattern paper with another one from uh, the set. And uh, I am also going to cut it down to size. So this is again the standard card size. 
and I am going to use one of those border dies that uh, give a speech bubble effect. I'm going to place it on top, decide where uh, this is going to go, secure it with a piece of post tape, and I am going to use some uh, foam tape at the back of this panel and stick it directly on top of the other uh, pattern paper. I am going to use some tape runner at the back of the panel and this is going to go on top of uh, one of the card bases, the orange one. And this is where I decided that the top pattern paper didn't pop as much as I want to against uh, the bottom one. So I cut out another piece using uh, that uh, speech bubble uh, die out of white cardstock and I'm going to stick it underneath. Now, um, when I am making a mixed media or an art journal uh, project, I don't really care about details like that. But things like that on a card may, may drive me crazy. So I just had to fix that. I am also going to trim the excess paper and my card is finished. So let's move on to the last card for today. For my last card I wanted to use this pattern paper that is full of colorful hearts but I thought that it was too busy and uh, I decided to tone it down by using vellum. So on a piece of vellum I am stamping the sentiment from the stamp set. I'm going to use white embossing powder and I am going to heat set it. Now the vellum that I am using is quite thick and takes heat quite well. I am also going to stamp a couple of uh, hearts that uh, are included in the set and um, just because I had that pattern paper that was full of little hearts I decided to add some of them around my sentiment. I think these are little details that bring everything together. So again I am going to stamp them with Versamark and then apply white embossing powder. When I finish the card and look at it again I think that if I make the card again I would use different colors of uh, embossing powder instead of just white. And you can see that as I place the vellum on top of that busy pattern paper it tones it down a bit and uh, makes it easy for you to read what's on the sentiment. I have also used my stitch rectangle dies to create a frame which I am going to stick directly on top of uh, my vellum. This could easily turn into a shaker card but that's not what I am going for here today. I have used some foam tape at the back and I am sticking it down. And uh, I am going to use my tape runner at the back of this panel and stick it directly on top of the last card base that I have for embellishing. So this goes directly on top of my orange card base. And here it is finished, bright and happy. But now let's take a quick look on all the cards that I made as well as on the leftovers. And here are all the 10 cards that I made today using supplies included only in the kit plus some uh, extra dies that I had in my stash. And now let's take a quick look on the leftovers. So I'm going to bring in the kit and you can see that I have uh, those two pens that I haven't used, the die, lots of enamel dots, three full 6x6 pattern papers and many panels, smaller and bigger ones. And these are great for creating basic uh, design cards just like the card number 5 that I showed you today. And these were the cards for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of all the cards that I made today.
And if you need more inspiration, here are two more videos where I am featuring previous Simon Says Stamp card kits and I am making again 10 cards. Thank you all for watching!